Okay, you guys, so it is morning of my surgery. I am starting to feel a little nervous but still very excited. My surgery is at 10 o'clock, but I have to be at their office by nine. It's 7.45-ish. I am dressed. They told me to wear something with either a zipper or buttons. So I'm just wearing this really comfortable flannel so when I come home, I can just lay down in it and then these Target joggers. All right, so we are in the car headed to their office right now. I'm feeling, um, ups and downs one minute i'm nervous one minute i'm excited i think right now i'm feeling excited i think i brought all my medications with me i haven't been able to drink any water or eat since midnight last night but i probably didn't drink anything since like 10 30. so i did bring some water with me not a lot i don't know how i'm gonna be feeling after anesthesia but last night i did have to use that antibacterial soap i don't know if i mentioned it or not but last night they had me use this antibacterial soap. I couldn't put on any like deodorant or lotions or anything afterwards. I have to go with like no nail polish on, no jewelry. I did bring a puke bucket just in case, but they did prescribe me a uh, anti-nausea patch and Zofran, which I think they're gonna give me some of my prescription while I'm there and they'll probably explain some of it. Jeff cannot go up with me but he can come get me once I'm out of recovery. So they said I should be in recovery for about an hour and the surgery should be about 45 minutes to an hour. So it's not very long at all. Anyways, that's the little status check-in. I probably won't be back on here until after surgery itself, but I guess I should probably tell you guys like where I'm at right now. I did take some footage this morning and um, a tank top and a bathing suit so you guys can see like my starting point but I started out pre babies it was like a large D small double D depending on the time of the month and after nursing two kids within like what two years two and a half years I dropped down to a small B a small B maybe more than anything, I'm just super deflated on the top and I've lost like all volume. So that is my biggest thing that I'm wanting back is to look more full on top, to have more cleavage, like I'm just flat. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell that in the footage or not, but in my pre-op or like my consultation, we had talked about doing 400 cc's. Now do keep in mind that that's not gonna equate to like a specific bra size. Like 400 is gonna look different on every single body type and person depending on your weight, your frame, how wide your like breast, not diaphragm, but like how wide your chest is. It's gonna look different on everybody. So just keep that in mind. But I did try on different sizers during my consultation. That's where we settled. I did send him some example photos and I'm feeling really confident that he'll know exactly what I want. But I'm gonna help Jeff direct the rest of the way there and I will, I guess, check in with you guys after surgery. <laughs> It's around three. Um, we left the hospital around 12.30, I think. I slept the whole way home from the hospital, or not the hospital, but their office. I, when I was coming out of surgery, like coming out from under the anesthesia, I started to feel really, really nauseous. So they ended up giving me some ginger ale and gave me some sort of medicine in addition to what they had already given me during surgery. Thankfully, whatever they gave me, it subsided the nausea within like 20 minutes. So I'm feeling like super dry since I really haven't had much water. The nurse told me that drinking water while you're nausea, it's a guaranteed way to throw up. Um, and I was really wanting water, but she gave me some Gatorade. I didn't actually see the doctor because I think he was in another surgery, but the nurse told me that everything went extremely well. They did end up doing 405 cc's which is exactly what we had planned on during consultation. I haven't been able to like look or anything right now. Pain is okay. I'm feeling a lot of pain on my right side, like kind of up in my armpit area. But other than that, like I don't feel any pain like in my actual breast, in my chest, around my nipples or anything, cause that's where the incision was. 
was just more or less like in my armpit and a little bit down my right arm which is interesting i'm sure it just has to do with like the tendons and stuff i, I just had some crackers i was really hungry jeff also went to go get me a sandwich earlier but i don't really have a stomach for it right now and i'm just gonna rest the rest of the day i can't take any more pain medication i think until dinner but jeff did say they gave us a bunch of paperwork with like times written down of when I can take things so that was nice but yeah I will fill you in in more detail like what happened during pre-op because there was kind of like a mix of stuff going on during pre-op that I think would be helpful to share so I will check in with you guys later but overall doing pretty well just minor um pain but hanging in there hey guys <laughs> it is 9 30 so much later in the day i have been doing pretty well overall i keep going in and out of sleep i did end up taking i don't know where i last left this but i did end up taking a pain pill around maybe 6 30. i had not taken pain medicine after i left the hospital i thought they gave it to me there but when i called the nurse to find out when i could take it she said that they never gave it to me at the hospital. So I'm sure they gave me something during surgery. I just haven't taken anything afterwards. I did have a wave of nausea earlier, but I took um, some medication for that. I'm feeling very, very tight. Don't mind the redness. That's just from the ice packs that I had on. So this isn't from the surgery. It's just from the ice packs. Ice has been helping. I feel like just like numbing it too. I haven't seen what it looks like. I go down a little bit. So mind you, I'm really swollen. If you have breastfed before and that feeling when your boobs get huge and your milk starts coming in, that is the same feeling that I have right now. Just like super tender and tight. It's that same feeling. I feel it a lot more in my armpit which when I talked to the other doctor that was in the room, they have a fellow joining their office in September. So she was um, like overseeing the procedure with my doctor. Anyway, so she called to check in on me and I told her that I was feeling this like crackling feeling like underneath my skin and my sternum. I don't really feel it as much anymore, but it was feeling like very light bubble wrap paper. Like if you were to press down on it, kind of like feels like a popping sensation. It doesn't hurt. It's a very weird sensation. And she said that it's totally normal from the anesthesia and also just from like them putting the implant in. I feel overall really well. I'm just weak and tight. I mean, you can probably, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I just feel really, really tight. All day I've just been eating crackers. I did get a sandwich down and I did start to have a smoothie. Jeff went to Smoothie King and got me something just because I was like getting really bad dry mouth from um, the pain medication. So I wanted something to drink versus eat. They did say that tomorrow I can take a shower, but I can't face the water. I have to face away from the water. So Jeff's gonna have to like clean me. I would highly recommend that you have somebody with you 24 seven the first week. I thought that like this was going to be totally easy breezy, but right now like I can see why you would need somebody with you the first week. Yeah, overall just feeling good. I'll try and do like some more footage tomorrow and I'll obviously update you guys because I want to do the first like 48 hours, maybe 36 hours, depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, but overall doing okay. So it is the next day you guys. I am trying to like get up and walk around a little bit. I'm supposed to be like moving my arms around to help with circulation and like just making sure I'm not getting stuck in one position basically. Feeling really sore still, really tight. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but this side is much more inflamed or swollen than the other side, which I mean, your boobs are supposed to be sisters and not twins. So this side's doing a lot better. Um, it's not sitting up as high doesn't feel as tender on the side, but I mean, you can kind of tell like right here and then this side, you don't see that as much. I know they're gonna start settling in place like as the days and weeks go by. My doctor told me specifically, do not buy any new like bras or anything until at least six weeks um, because they're gonna drop pretty substantially up until that point. 
and you obviously want to make sure you have like the right size before you go buy anything i did just put like my skincare on and brushed my teeth and everything jeff had to go back to work today my mom is here to watch the kids i haven't seen the kids since yesterday morning i just don't want them to get like riled up seeing me and like jump on me and get upset if i have to like go upstairs and not feeling up for it for a long period of time so I think I'm going to take a break from not seeing the kids today too, just to be on the safe side. I did take a pain pill this morning around, I don't know, 7.30. And that's been helping. Um, but ice, 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 ice. Like I have had ice on me basically for the last 24 hours. And I can tell that's been helping quite a bit too. Sleep was not that bad last night. You do have to sleep like sitting up or on an angle. And it wasn't that bad. I mean, of course, it wasn't as comfortable, but better than I thought it was going to be. I did change my shirt, button shirts. Like, if you have a nice flannel, like, these have been my go-to for the past two days. I'm on, like, six different types of medication right now, which I think I already mentioned. But on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle here. I did, like, a highlight section. A bunch of people were sending in questions, so I wanted to answer those questions. So if you want more information, you can head to my Instagram, but I do plan on doing like a more formal sit down probably at like one month mark just so I can give like a total recap of everything. And oh, one other thing that I was going to mention yesterday, but I never got around to it was the pre-op. So what happened once I got to their office? So once I got to their office, um, they took me back. I had to do a urine sample just to make sure that I wasn't pregnant, but I was actually, or I am, I'm on my period right now. So that's great to deal with in addition to surgery. Um, so I had to do a urine sample. They had me change and do a gown. Um, she took some pictures. Um, if I didn't already insert the footage, I'll insert it here. But basically there was like this octagon on the floor and you had to like stand in certain positions so they could get like clear before pictures. After that was done, I had to fill out some paperwork regarding anesthesia. The doctor did come in and mark me up. You can see kind of where he marked me it was like down my chest a little bit like on my stomach and then or like around um, my breast folds and stuff after he did that the anesthesiologist came in and spoke with me she was amazing super bubbly she really distracted me from everything that was going on because she was so easy to talk to and it was just seemed very like normal which it is normal but it was kind of a surreal experience like driving there going to the office but once she came in it like put me at ease so she just had that like vibe about her so I was really happy she was working yesterday. But I guess if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm trying to remember everything that I haven't already said, but I'm just gonna relax. I have to make sure that I eat with some of my medication. So once my mom leaves to go get Peyton from preschool, I will go downstairs, get something to eat, get some more ice, and then come back to my lovely little spot and chill. But I am gonna work on my like arm movements. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but some of the vlogs or like boob job experiences that I've seen on YouTube, majority of the women had like this band. It looked like an exercise band, like around the top of their chest to help the breasts settle. But when I spoke to one of the doctors yesterday, they said that my muscle should naturally push it down since I went under the muscle. Um, but they said that we'll look at it next week when I go in on Tuesday for my one week post-op appointment. So they'll see how they're dropping, if I need to do any particular like massaging to get them down into place, how they should be. But yeah, that's pretty much everything right now. But my arm is getting tired from holding this camera. So I'm gonna sign off for now and then I'll check in once I have some more information to share with you guys. So it's about three o'clock. I think I am starting to feel a lot more pain again. Um, you may be able to tell I did have some ice on to help with like the swelling up here. This breast feels a lot tighter and swollen. One of the nurses did call me this morning to check in to see how I was doing, like how my pain tolerance was doing, but she called me about an hour after I had already taken the painkiller, so I was feeling really good at the time. It's not fun, I will tell you that. Like some of the vlogs that I've seen about breast augmentation, they're like, oh yeah, you feel great no pain like easy breezy i would like to think i have a fairly high pain tolerance and this is not comfortable whatsoever which i mean why would it be comfortable i'm feeling really bloated as well but i'm sure this just has to do with um, all the medication i'm on right now antibiotic they did, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they did have to put me on Singular. Um, I don't know, I was just actually gonna go look it up to see what it was for, but 
when they were doing my incision, I had some residual breast milk that came out. They didn't make it seem like it was a big deal, but they did want me to take this medication for the next couple of months. So maybe just to like help fully dry me up maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But once I find out, I will let you know what that medication is for. But yeah, just feeling super not comfortable. Jeff tonight is gonna come home and help me take a shower and wash my hair and stuff. I'm still trying to do my exercises. My back is starting to bother me. I'm trying to get a lot of water in. They say you should be drinking a gallon to a gallon and a half of water a day. But okay, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Just wanted to give you a quick update and I'll probably check in later once Jeff is home and we're about to take or I'm about to take a shower. Yeah, this is what we're looking like right now. Hey guys, so it is it's almost been 48 hours since I had my surgery, so I guess this is the second day. Last night or yesterday afternoon, I had a lot of pain and discomfort. Yesterday morning, I actually felt pretty good. Um, but as the day went on yesterday, I don't know if I was just like pushing myself too hard. Basically laid in bed all day yesterday, but I got up to like brush my teeth, things like that. And I was having a really hard time like pushing drawers in just because of how sore and tight my muscles are right now, especially in my armpit area. I did have the best sleep as of yet last night. Um, so that's good news. I did take a painkiller and a muscle relaxer before bed. So that probably helped. Um, I woke up at like 4 and I think I went to bed around 10 so I felt like that was a good amount of sleep. I did fall back asleep after 4 but I took a shower last night and Jeff helped me. That I will say was the worst thing that I've experienced during this like whole augmentation journey. I was freezing. They tell you not to take a hot shower so it was like a warm shower which was bearable but I was so cold that my body was like shaking and tensing up and because my muscles were tensing up my boobs hurt so bad like I was crying it hurt so bad and so it was very uncomfortable even for me but yeah that was the worst part the shower has been the worst part so far because I couldn't stop my body from like uncontrollably tensing up and shaking I would say maybe I have like a minor minor less comfort today or a little less discomfort today which is good but I wish I would have saved my nursing like cold presses because that would have been amazing. If you've nursed a baby before, if you have babies, you may know that they have these like circular gel pads that you can put on your breast when, you're, when your milk is coming in since your boobs hurt a lot. I wish I would have saved those because that would have been perfect for this. But I'll have some linked down below too. Maybe I'll do like a must have products and everything in my formal sit down. That way you guys can just order everything. But I've just been using like Ziploc bags full of ice. But yeah, just trying to get a lot of protein in too because protein will help with the healing process. But I haven't really been eating much, just like crackers and eggs, protein shakes. I had a smoothie, so just like really easy food. I still haven't gone to the bathroom yet. So I'm hoping by tonight or tomorrow I'll be able to go to the bathroom. I'll try and eat an apple tonight and see if that helps at all. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to mention so far, but hanging in there, it'll get better. I know it'll get better. Just trying to like ride the wave of the discomfort right now. Okay, you guys, so it has been a week since my surgery and I just wanted to do like one final recap on this past week so i did have my one week post-op appointment on tuesday not that this matters i met with the nurse practitioner and she took my tape my surgical tape off around my incision to check on it and she said everything is healing perfectly she said my nipple placement is perfect on both sides like everything is completely even she said that the swelling that i'm experiencing is completely normal it will go down i do have to go back at three weeks and then i think six weeks and then my post-op like appointments are over at that point so i am not cleared for lifting or anything like that they just wanted to check the incision and to make sure everything was going smoothly so far i did mention a couple times singular that they put me on so initially i thought it was because i'm actually still leaking breast milk how crazy is that that i haven't nursed calvin in 
five and a half months, underwent surgery, breast augmentation, augmentation surgery, and I'm still leaking breast milk. Like that just blows my mind. But um, anyway, so I thought they put me on that to like dry me up, but actually they put that, they give all their patients that medication because somebody at some point discovered that by taking that prescription, it actually helps your chances of not getting, I think it's called capsular contraction or contraction capsular or something basically where the capsule that forms around your implant gets really hard versus staying soft so eventually if if you do get it which i think it's pretty rare your breast looks really hard and it's not soft to the touch and it's just not good all around so they actually put you on it for two to three months to help your chances of not getting it so yeah anyways just wanted to share that little tidbit with you um she did mention that i can take a shower and let water like go over my bandages um but she said that if they do get wet just to take like a hair dryer and kind of dry it off for the most part my pain is going down and it's going significantly down on my dominant side which makes sense because i'm using that side more um i'm still not lifting the kids or anything like that but i do know that my left side is a little bit more tender jeff found these little like ice pack things at target so i've been keeping these basically on me 24 7 like either in between my cleavage or like in my armpit area but i have been having this like very weird sensation on my left side where my incision is so it basically feels like if you know that feeling where your foot falls asleep or your leg falls asleep and then like that rush of blood and like that prickling sensation that's basically what it feels like around my incision so it's very prickly at times um it feels numb at times um but when i mentioned it to the nurse practitioner she said that it's very normal and that it's basically just my nerves trying to figure out what the heck just happened since obviously they went through a lot. I'll be interested to see like how quickly that goes away, but that's something that I did not expect. And since there was actually quite a few things that I wasn't expecting to happen or like little things I learned over this past week, I think I'm gonna do like 10 things I didn't know um, that would be kind of like a cliff note version for you guys from this video that I think would be really helpful because even though I did my research, I talked to multiple, multiple people that have gone through breast augmentation. There were still some things that I did not hear about, did not read about. So I think that video would be just an easy, short way to share with you like 10 things to kind of just be mindful of when you go through the process. But if there's anything I didn't cover that you guys have questions on or what have you, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I am always more than happy to help you where I can. You can also head to my Instagram page. I'm pretty active on there as well. So if I don't answer your comment um, on this video, you can head to my Instagram and just send me a DM and I will more than likely respond to you that way as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed kind of follow, following along with me through this journey i am so happy i did it 100 percent. i would not take it back i do not regret it i'm just overall very very pleased with the results and how it all went down so if you're going through this um in the near future good luck i wish you the best just try and relax trust your gut instinct when it comes to size and do it for you don't do it for anybody else but do it for you make yourself happy that is the most important thing and if you just went through it i hope you are healing well and keeping yourself healthy but i hope you guys are having a great day whenever you're watching this and don't forget to subscribe but i will see you guys in the next one bye guys